Hey gang, today we're going to do a classic Clapton lick. This one is the core from his Slow Hand album. Um, got a real, you know, that classic Clapton Stratty sound. And it's really a cool lick um, to open. And then there's some nice chords and then a really cool bridge lick. We'll show you all, all of those to you uh, coming up in just a second. Hey, if you like this one, as always, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed for a couple of these every week, we'll see you in just a second. All right, gang, uh, let's go over this note for note. Now we're going to cover the opening. That part will cover the chords. And then the last part we'll cover is the bridge. All right. Uh, you can download the tabs from the link. Don't forget about that. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. So briefly, let's talk about the sound using an S-style guitar, uh, playing in the position two, which is the bridge and the middle position. So it gives it that out-of-phase sound that Clapton used a lot in the early 70s, uh, including on this album Slow Hand. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else on it. Well, I should say I have a little bit of reverb, but not very much. And I'm using a Fender-style uh, amp model um, without too much gain. I just want a little bit of breakup. All right, so not too much. All right, on to the lick. Let's cover the first one first. That part right there, all right? Okay, so let's do the first part first. Um, and this is a lick in E. We're going to start out on the E on the fourth uh, string. We're going to get to that, and we're going to alternate between the fourth and the or the D string and the open E string. All right, so it goes like this. That's the first part. Okay, so we're going to hammer on on a D string, open to two, and then come back down to six and two and six and two. So we're kind of pivoting between those two, and the cadence is like this. All right, that's the hardest part and the trickiest part of this um, of this whole thing. Really, is getting that cadence down and making it sound kind of like it's gonna pop, like the like the notes pop a little bit. You don't want that. You want it to be nice and snappy. Right? Okay. So that's basically that part. On the last note where I hit that E on the um, on the D string, right? So it's the D string second fret. I'm also going to hit the G sharp that's on the third string. So G uh, G string uh, first fret. So you hear that? I'm trying to do that. It doesn't really matter if you get it, but when you do get it, it's kind of nice and satisfying. And because of that, I I actually just finger a whole E major chord there. All right. After that, we're going to play a power E. I'm sorry, a power A, which is A string open, D string two, G string two. Whole thing is like this. Okay. Second part is this. So very similar. We're going to do the whole popping thing on the second to the. I'm sorry, on the fourth to the sixth string. That's all, that's all the same. And then we're going to play. 
So that's on the A string. It's five, four, and pull off to open. And then open two and play the fourth string open, right? So most of this action is on the fifth string. All right? And it sets us up for the next one, right? Because we played that open D. We're going back from open D to hammering on the second. Here's the whole thing kind of slowly. All right? So that's that part. Okay, here's the middle part. Okay, so I would suggest listen to the record to get the actual chords that are working for you or the numbers that you're playing them because it is a little bit different. But um, we're going to start out with just this. Kind of reminds me of Yes, Tempest Fugit. But it's a, sort of the Keith Richards thing there. So if you play on the four, three, and two strings, we're going to play a B. And what we're going to do is we're going to finger... Um, um, so on, we've got D4, G4, and B4, right, on the strings. Um, and we're going to, when we start out, we're going to play 6, 4, 5, right? So D6, G4, and uh, B5. Two of those, and then to the B. And then just move that whole thing down two frets. So it's to the A, right? We'll do it again, and again, last time we're going to play another two of these, come back up to that B, and then play, and that ends it, all right? Now we're on the bridge, and it goes like this. That's basically it, all right? So uh, basically, I think the easiest way to do this is to, to put your third finger on the uh, A string, second fret, slide up to four, and then on the fourth string, we're playing two, so D2, come back to the A string, four, and, slide, and then play uh, two, right? All right, and then we're going to jump to the third string and play... Play the um, on the G. We're gonna play uh, G string. We're gonna play four, two, one, and then we're gonna play our power A. And then we'll do the same lick. And then at the end, we're just gonna play an E. And only play it up to the fourth string. Uh, I'm sorry, the third string. So we're playing four open. I'm sorry, six open, five second. String second and the G string first. All right, you don't want it to ring out too much. I guess you do want it to ring out this time. Then you play it again, and then the last time you do this, and you go back into the main riff. And that's it. Well, there you have it, gang. The core or the licks from it um, from Eric Clapton, the uh, opening riff, uh, the chords, and the 
uh, bridge riff. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one and we will see you on down the road.